In this live video, we will show you what the total knee replacement surgery exactly is. This patient whom we are going to operate is 78 years old lady who is suffering from severe pain in both legs, both knees since long time, more than 5 years and now she has suddenly stopped walking due to severe painful osteoarthritis in both knees. Today we are going to operate on her right knee. Surgery starts with a vertical midline incision about 15 to 20 cm long. Suprapatellar bursa and infrapatellar fat pad are partially excised to allow the better axis or to improve the exposure. Intraarticular ligaments and menisci are excised. Medial subperosteal sharp dissection helps in correcting the varus deformity and thus helps in aligning the knee joint in the best anatomical position. Next, the tibial portion of the knee joint, for example, the cartilage and the bone beneath it is removed, which is more or less of 10 mm thickness which will be replaced by roughly the same size of the T-bell implants. In this endeavor of removing the bone, the electric bone saw is used to remove the bone precisely. Similarly, the femoral portion of the joint is cut and reshaped using the various femoral guides and the electric bone saw. Such surgeries have best results when done at little younger age around 65 or 70 years as at this age at this, this time patient is bodily strong and risk factors for surgery are less I think life is all about mobility at this age immobilization in bed or reduced physical activity of any sort can suddenly grip you with various other problems of immobilization like osteoporosis, chest infection, thromboembolism, urinary tract infection and not the least psychological ailments like depression, mood disorders etc. The total knee replacement provides the long term solution for such patients and particularly those who are the knee pain killers for long time or those who are suffering from, suffering from heart or kidney diseases, hypertension or metabolic disorders like diabetes. Because in these patients, immobilization of any sort is detrimental to their health and second, long term use of pain killers further aggravates their existing problems besides causing dangerous life-threatening complications.
After removing the painful knee joint surfaces, the trial implants are attached to the knee and the joint movements are checked and the size of the implants determined. Finally, the metallic components of the artificial knee joints, they are placed on the bone using the cement, bone cement in between. In the end, the plastic insert is locked into the tibial component. This plastic insert is an inner inert material which works as a spacer between the two metallic components and separates them. And this way, it reduces the friction during the movement of the knee joint and also avoids the deposition of metallic debris which otherwise would happen in the absence of this spacer. The artificial joint usually lasts for 15 years or more, provided the meticulous attention is given to the knee joint alignment and the implants are fixed in anatomical position firmly. The total knee replacement surgery is usually performed in those patients who are suffering from extremely intense knee pain which is hampering their day-to-day -day life. After the surgery, patients are encouraged to move their legs and in a day or two after the surgery, they are advised to walk with support. With artificial knee joints, patients are usually forbidden to sit on the ground or squat. Climbing upstairs or downstairs on few occasions is okay, but you should not make it a routine because such activity puts a lot of strain on artificial knee joint.
Mm. I hope with this video you would have gained a little bit insight into the problems and the solution of the osteoarthritis of the knee joint. Thank you.